And now we'll create a div with a class of contact section and flex. Then another div with the class of contact left and flex. Then an H2 element with our text effect class. And then we'll say, let's talk here. And then we want to include a paragraph element, paste our text, create a div with the class contact details and flex. Create another div with a class contact dash detail and flex. And now we want to go back to font awesome here and navigate to our mail icon. So we'll just type in envelope and we'll go ahead and select this first one, copy this element and paste it in. And now I'll create a paragraph element and put kelmanwebdesign at gmail.com. And then we want to go ahead and copy this here and paste it two more times. Now I have a phone number and a location, but we need to change out our icons now is search for phone in Font Awesome. Use our phone icon here, copy this and just switch it out. And then we also want a location pin. So we'll look for location and go ahead and select this one copy it and paste it into our location section. Underneath our contact left section, we wanna create a form element with a class contact dash right and flex. Within our form, we wanna start off with a label element. This is going to be for our name. And then we want to say your name. Then we want to create an input element here and our type is going to be equal to text and our ID is going to be equal to name. And we wanna make our name attribute equal to name and include a placeholder and we'll just say enter your name. Copy and paste this down below. And this is going to be an email input. So we'll go ahead and say your email. Then we'll change our for to email, change our type also to email, our ID to email, and our name attribute needs to be equal to email. And then we'll say enter your email. Copy one of these label elements, paste it down here below. And this is going to be for our message. And we want to say enter a message. And underneath this, we're going to create a text area element. And our name is going to be equal to message. And our ID is going to be equal to message. And then we want to include a placeholder that says leave a message. Create a button element with a class of BTN and animation. And this needs to be submit. And then we also need to add a type attribute equal to submit. Now you guys can see we have all the structure for our contact section set up and we can navigate back to our styles.css. And just before our first media query, we'll go ahead and create the styling for our contact section, starting with our contact dash section class. And we want to add a gap of four rem here. Then we want to target our contact left class, align our items to the start, change our flex direction to column. And then we want to add a gap of two rem here. Target our paragraph element in our contact left class. We want to specify a line height of two rem here. Then we can target our contact details class, align our items to the start, change our flex direction to column, and add a gap of two rem. Target our contact detail class, align our items to the center, align our items to the center here, and include a gap of one rem. Contact right class, change our flex direction to column, align our items to the start, add a gap of 1.5 rem, font size of 1.2 rem. Now we want to target our contact right inputs, target our contact right text area. And we want to get rid of our border by changing our border to none, add a width of 20 rem, height of 2 rem, add a font family of Arial, add a padding of 0.5 rem, a border 
radius of 0.2 gram and we want to specify our color just in case here to black now you guys can see we have our contact section set up with our information and our form here. Now what we need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom of our style sheet and we're going to create our final media query here and specify a max width of 668 pixels. Here we want to target our contact section class and within this we want to change our flex direction to column. So now if we shrink down to mobile size you guys will see it changes into a column layout. Now we need to go back to our index.html and now it's time to make this form actually send us an email when somebody submits it. So what I wanna do since we're done with Font Awesome is navigate to formsubmit.co. Again, this will be linked in the description and all you have to do is scroll down here. There's three easy steps. All you need to do is copy this action the method of post, go over here, replace your empty action with an action equal to formsubmit.co and then enter the email where you want this form to go. So I'll say kalmanwebdesign at gmail.com. And then you wanna make sure you have a method equal to post and then make sure each one of the inputs here, your text areas, and if you guys add a select option, have a type and a name attribute so it works correctly. Now what we can do is go back to our web page and just go ahead and enter some dummy information here, whatever we want for now, and go ahead and click submit. So in this page, you just wanna go through the prompts here and verify you're not a robot. And then once it's successful, it'll say thanks and give you the URL of the website that you just linked this form submit session to. So we can go ahead and go back to that. And now if I navigate to my email, you guys can see that I have a form submit new submission here from my website URL. And it has all the information that we just entered as dummy info. And keep in mind, once you guys host this somewhere and have a legitimate customized URL, you want to redo these steps with that new URL to make sure it works. Tap here to see what happens next.